and welcome to my YouTube. I'm telling you there's just so much of Leonardo da Vinci's works, it's not even funny. And I'm going to probably have to put a warning disclosure up for some other little issues that may be in the future in which I may want to tell you about. It is because he's a psychological genius of how he entrances you into uh, interpretation of love and what he has hidden in love in these in this painting it is actually draws you in but then this is my woman and it is uh, a portion of of the painting and I want to show you how the Mona Lisa uh, uh, here um, uh, overlays now let me just show you real quick how she overlays and then I'm going to tell you what the overlay is all about if you actually take a look uh, on several issues you're going to see how this line flows through here and how the ribbon flows up in here and I'll pull it back down and my apology that I don't have my pointer lit up but let's get this a lit up and so we can get lit up on what we're going to do here I'm getting a little stronger Harry carrying a guitar and I'm feeling a little bit better in, in life and you guys have been awesome on your subscribing you guys have been awesome so when he gives you this he gives you overlay you see how he gives you motion and he'll give it to you to be on this side of the eye and then the eye can be over here and it keeps continuing that's Leonardo da Vinci but that's not the factor when you move it up and down you can find out the kissers are uh, in the same general area. I'm just off a little bit. I just need to move a notch or two and you as you can see how things change because you know you can wear your ribbon back and but he gives you the ribbon could be anywhere because the ribbon could also be the portion of the hair. But we'll go back down the two notches whoops three notches and let me see if I lined it up right. Let me show you what I found. There's this scar, and I'll show you early, uh, later. There's a scar that's on the Mona that goes here. And there's a scar that goes on my woman right here. And I'm going to zoom for you. But there's this other scar, but it's in writing. And it curves to go up, and it curves to go like this, and it curves to go here to the ear. So it goes here, goes here, goes here, goes up here. So it flows, and it flows, you like those? Okay. So Leo gives you these these runs. If you take a look at the Mona, if you take a look at the Mona, you're going to see when you get into it, you're going to see that there's these hidden runs that flow in her side of what he has built. And I, I have other pictures that are a little bit better, but there is not, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, pretty tired and it's got like eight hours into this believe it or not um, that um, there's um, other photos that are going to show a little better and better but I'm going to zoom a little and I hopefully you can screenshot and you can catch a little you're not going to catch a lot so don't worry that you don't catch a lot but I just have to remember since I'm so tired that um, been up all night celebrating that uh, I got monetized and you guys have been blessed blessing me and 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 there's just there's a, a marking through here you can see a little of it and there's when I put it on the overlay I'm gonna do it on the overlay and I got to keep remembering I got to get back off it you can see how that flows it'll flow from this eye to that and the kissers got kissed on the side and then you can see that when you slide it on over the line matches perfectly with the chin and then when you even slide the eyes on over it follows within the shadow but that's not just everything because there's some other issues that I need to, to talk to you about so I'm going to put this down for a second but before I do I got one other thing I forgot to show you so f forgive me uh oh okay uh, before I do um, yeah and we're already at the high before I, I bring that down there's this marking right here on the Mona and there's this marking right here on mine by the eye and those absolutely line up 100% whoops whoop oh, I gotta pull it down I'm sorry I gotta pull this down okay and and uh, so that's only one little mistake I'm human see I I'm doing my best okay so as you can see there's this marking right here and when I pull it on up it matches the same marking that's right in here and that's the way Leonardo you can see how the eyes flow pretty cool that's where he hides his his his, his uh, images 
Now, I have this woman uh, that is absolutely a magnificent woman, and she's a great editor, and I thank you for um, the compliments you've given her. So, I want to tell you that um, I've given her a lot of compliments, too. So, I, I appreciate her as much as you do, and I um, would uh, love to hear more wonderful comments. Now, I'm going to show you something here that, let me see if I drew this back oh, a little. There's this marking of a hand. And this marking of a hand is right here. And I'm going to zoom for that hand for you. And it's in my x-ray that's spelled out Soli. So when I back this off, you'll see how it's spelled out Soli. S-U-L-A-I. And it's lover's name. Well, in the Mona is another image, and it's right here. And it's the hand also. And here's the side of her face and her eyes up in here. So when you overlay the hand over the hand, it's the same as you see. See? Right there. And so that's another little hidden trick. Now, if you follow the blue... You can see how it gives you some outline. It gives you even something better. Watch. Let me pull this back so I can zoom back. Okay. Let me show you how this guy, this guy right here, he has his nose. He has an eye and eye and his head flows. But if you see, there's a high and low. This is a dark spot and then it gets dark here. But he actually is a hole and it continues as a more hole. You get, and there's an, a hand pointing up towards him. Well... There, that same image where the hand goes in here, and it overlays right here, you can see where he goes. See where he goes right here? Okay, so when you screen shoot this and I overlay it, I'm going to pull this back down. You can still see the shadow of the same exact outline of where my man goes. You can even see this little notch of his nose which actually when you really open this up in different layers it's actually two faces looking at each other it's a real trip he's he changes see here's his nose and don't forget he makes it move you see this cut line that goes across here here's the cut line it goes across see the cut line goes across so you can screen shoot that i'll wait one two three and you can screen shoot this one two three and you can play with that all you want, and you're going to find out. <clears throat> I don't mean to hold you up, but there's a lot to see. And you're going to see that those images are the same. Now, <clears throat> here goes maybe the better shot. I can't remember everything, but I'm going to pull this up and show you that if you take a look right through here, and you screen shoot this, and I'm going to zoom for you, you can see the lettering on the face. Watch. You can see how there's some lettering floating on the face. It's trying to bleed through. You see? Okay. And the lettering on that face, when I overlaid the other two earlier that you've seen, is the same lettering, which I have to do it this way. And here's here she is. And, and here's the lettering. And the other one was, was, was seeking. Let me see if I can zoom this back. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to see that this lettering that's right here, when you picture in the right angles, obviously, lines up in the layers when she moves. See? Oops. It's very hard to do this. And when you get to the certain areas, because he floats it from up top to the bottom. So he'll start over here, and it flows, and then it flows, and then it flows, and, catch, and catches all the way to the tip. As you can see, that her kisser lies on the kisser. That's why she's got a great smirk. Okay, There's, there's this wording, I haven't gotten it out, but my high pot, my, oops. My hypothesis thought at this time is highly into the 99% that it's Katharina, his mother. Because when you go back into the Monas babies, <clears throat> there was, a, there was a, a particular thing in which I spoke, and it, and it did very well, that YouTube. 
But what's, what I'm getting at is in the Mona's Babies, you, uh, you will see where I talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, talk about the blanket and then how the blanket changes and turns into a kitty. Well, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Leo was a lion. He likes to be, be a lion. So in that particular note of being a lion, Leonardo da Vinci um, would have been a baby lion inside my woman. That was where the blanket was. That is in um, uh, the two monas with the babies. Well, in that particular deal, when it was being screenshot in different areas, and you need to get back into it because that's what you do. Is you study each one, you learn. But when you get into it, you'll see that the transforms also changed it into a kitty, which gave you a baby tiger. Well, I have another new YouTube coming out that when you overlay the face over the x-rays or the images of the lighter color that we are talking about of this of this one and when you overlay you're going to see that the image of the face of the mona actually turns in to looking like a lion of the kitty of what is in the mona and what is in the medion as when as in the monus with the babies so it's gonna it's it's gonna be like a three ring circus it's gonna be extremely difficult so my 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 opinion is is that leonardo da vinci has, at this time okay has interpreted himself with the love of his mother and many stylists of women to be the baby of the born of both women inside and growing up and showing his childhood and him being the Mona himself. So when you overlay, and let's see if it even comes out better this way. Well, not too good, but you see some of the lines, how they are coming. You, When you get into that, and it's pretty difficult because I, I can't transform these colors too easily. I'm, I'm not into uh I, I try but when you get into it and you see it like i do they come out to look extremely uh close to the same image that is in the secrets of the mona in the discovery channel that is in my youtube of the the, the monas with the baby so if that didn't confuse you, I don't know, because it was pretty... I think I got it all right, and it sounded pretty good to me, and I'm hoping it sounded good to you. I don't think you're going to understand it completely, because um, it's very confusing, because I have the photos in front of me, and I've been studying it, and it's it's it, 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 it would take a few times. It'd probably take you ten times to study each one, re-listen to what I have to say and go back and forth like as if you were doing um, an essay in school. And this is an essay in a sense. But le don't forget, see, Leonardo da Vinci, I have one that's called the bear. And you see, you see how this right here, this is a bear flipped upside down drinking water. And how that comes about is going to be on another YouTube. So when you take it and you flip it, and you get over into looking at, whoops, looking at the bear. And here's the bear, see? So check out my YouTube and it's gonna show how these bear claws and the bear eyes and nose and everything are actually in it. And it actually shows this curve right here that matches up in the mine. And it has three little markings. It has it has the bear claws here, it has this marking, and it's gonna have these little tweety little things that are floating up here as wings that look like um, uh, seagulls. And uh, it's it's a, a cute little deal. I mean it's it, it it's a definite it's a definite marking. But Leonardo da Vinci does 
things. And he puts cartoons and a doggy here and a cartoon and, and he continues and he builds his little hands over and over and over. So when you are looking for something, it's everywhere with Leo and he, he and he gets heavy into the skull. So I'm going to get back to my work, maybe take a nap. Uh, you guys have beat me up and I want to thank you once again. Once again I want to thank you. I want to thank you at the bottom of my heart. I thank you for social distancing. Watch out for that new disease. Wash your hands. Wear a mask and don't forget, don't forget, please, please, to subscribe and tell your friends. Take that broken finger. Tell them that you are a blessing to me. I have overwhelmed with your kindness and your 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 pat on the back and, and, and applauding me and and um, making me uh, feel real proud that I've worked hard for you. I hope. I hope you guys understand this, and remember, um, God loves you, so don't forget um, that it's not bless the USA, God bless the USA. It's God bless the whole world and the USA and the universe, but I don't normally say USA. I say may God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens, and you have a wonderful, wonderful night. Remember, we are all here to learn love, take care of each other, and have a good life and safe and healthy. Okay, and I hope to see you in heaven someday. In Jesus' name, amen.